What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to properly color correct log footage. Maybe you just shot your latest project in a log color profile and are looking for a basic path to converting your log image into a finished look. Or you're seasoned pro and you're looking for some extra tips with our advanced log conversion path. Regardless of your experience level, we assure you, you will be better after watching this video. After shooting in a log profile and pulling it up on your computer, you will notice that there's no color. Why on earth would you ever shoot in something like this? To put it simply, you will have more control. I'll explain more. Let's start in Premiere Pro and then we'll get into DaVinci. The first goal in our conversion process is getting our log image into a Rec. 709 color space, which is the standard color profile on most of our screens. For those that have never shot in log, you're probably used to shooting in any one of the color profiles your camera provides. Those color profiles are essentially already converted Rec. 709 images, but the problem is they are baked into the DNA of the image, making it extremely difficult to manipulate the colors, highlights, and shadows. So basically what we are doing by shooting in a log profile is that we are preserving all the beautiful colors, shadows, midtones, and highlights then performing the Rec. 709 conversion ourselves in post so that the DNA of the image is still that very flat log profile. I'll show you some powerful ways to convert your log image into Rec. 709. The first and fastest way is to use a conversion LUT. Whatever camera you are shooting on should have its own specific log to Rec. 709 conversion as each camera's color science is very different. After you find the correct LUT for your cameras, Let's drop it onto your footage. So first close Premiere Pro, open up your finder window and go to applications, double click, and then right click Premiere Pro and show package contents. Hit contents and then hit Lumetri. Double click LUTs, creative, and then drop in the Rec. 709 conversion LUT. Now open back up Premiere Pro, let's drag in our clips, and instead of dropping straight onto the clip, let's make an adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer, head over to Lumetri color panel, click creative, look, and then find your newly added Rec. 709 conversion LUT. Click and boom, you properly converted your log image to Rec. 709. This is only the first step in creating a finished color corrected image, but we will cover all of our favorite color grading secrets in a separate video. That's it for our Premiere users, now for DaVinci. There's the conversion LUT process, which we did in Premiere, that we could also do for DaVinci, but I'll save you the time since that's not what I do with my footage in Resolve. It's a little bit more sophisticated than dropping on a LUT. We're gonna be using a node tree method, which is the number one reason I have been using DaVinci for all of our color demanding projects. There's more precision and control as compared to Premiere. Think of Premiere's color grading tools versus DaVinci's color grading tools as percentage on your LED light. Premiere's grading tools goes in increments of 20% and DaVinci goes in increments of 1%. Simply put more control and precision in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, we are in DaVinci Resolve and after placing your clips on the timeline, let's head over to the color panel. Now let's make three nodes. The first and last are going to be our conversion nodes. The middle is going to be any additional corrections. And before we do our conversion, head down to the setting icon on the bottom right and go to color management. We're gonna change timeline color space to DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate we're doing that simply to have access to more colors than we would get with any other log profile. Red, Airy, Sony, regardless, to get the most juice out of your image, you wanna grade in this color space. Now hit save and click on the first node. Click effects if it isn't already pulled up and drag and drop color space transform. Under input color space, search for the log profile you shot with. I'm shooting on red, so I'll select red wide gamut RGB. Under input gamma, I'll select red log 3G10. If you're using Sony, you can select S-Log3. For Panasonic, hit V-Log. If you don't see an option for your camera, I had this issue when shooting on a Z-Cam. Typically, selecting S-Log3 works pretty well, and I also shoot on Fujifilm, and I have found great results selecting V-Log as my color space, and then F-Log for input gamma. Let me know in the comments below if you have any issues with this step in finding the correct color space and input gamma for your camera, if it's not an option in the dropdown. Now for the output color space, let's select DaVinci Wide Gamut. And output Gamma, let's select DaVinci Intermediate, ensuring that we are grading in a DaVinci Wide Gamut color space instead of the original native 
Log color space for extra flexibility with our clips. Now click on the last node and let's now convert this to Rec 709. For input color space, hit DaVinci Wide Gamut and for input gamma, hit DaVinci Intermediate. And for color space, select Rec 709 and under output gamma, select gamma 2.4. Now you should see some beautiful colors peeking through that log image. And the reason behind this node tree, once again, is so that we are maximizing the potential for our clips. Having the conversion to Rec 709 be at the end of the node tree allows for the middle nodes to still have that flexibility of the DaVinci wide gamut and log profile color spaces that we natively shot on. And that's it for this one, guys. Really hope you were able to fully understand the log to Rec 709 process in your NLE editor of choice. Don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help us get these videos out to more and more people. Also hit that notification bell to not miss any of our future videos as we will be covering more advanced color grading tutorials in the coming videos. Appreciate you guys a ton and we will see you guys in the next one.